Hey, pups. Let's go home. Hmm. This is very neatly unpacked for a house that's just been moved into. Uh, I get to work on packing the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good... I'm sorry, this this was not done in two hours. For, for, for anyone that's, that's unpacked moving boxes, the fuck this was done in two hours. Uh, get some good work done. Uh, the washer dryer unit is both uh, washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already. I'll walk over to the door and open it. Hello? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that voice for it. <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny. Uh, a handsome, clean cut man stands at the door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Yay, cookies! Okay, second best person already. He's already better than Brian. Hello? Oh, where are my manners? My name is... Oh, it's Joseph. It's Joseph Joestar. It's a, jo it's a Jojo reference. <laughs> I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Gaston. Uh, That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Christine, wanted, uh, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Yeah. Brian is a redneck. <laughs> He's approaching us. Ah! <laughs> uh, wow, cookies, huh? Nice to meet you. Here's the hands uh, the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. <laughs> Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come back. Ah, she's gone. Uh, that's my daughter. Uh, her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters, daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, <laughs> uh, there'd have to be so, uh, something wrong with you uh, to try and raise more than two. I have four kids. Ah! What have you done? Oh, uh, I meant... Uh, don't worry. <laughs> you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, it's the first neighbor I've met. My social life is already in, the t in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She died. Oh, what? That's... Wow, okay. Way to spring that on us. Oh, yeah. Now who's rude? <laughs> Throw it back at him. Yeah. Uh... I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. You didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, <laughs> acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Oh. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quiz uh, quizzically. <laughs> Words. Uh, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph stand there with a huge smile. <laughs> hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promised not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue in the cul-de-sac. I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter, Amanda, and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, they, <laughs> I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, uh, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Oh. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own uh, can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm uh, I'm the youth my uh, uh I want to say meister. It's not the. I thought he was taking the piss. No, he's the youth minister at, at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself the youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Ho ho! Is 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 he is he coming on to me? Is he approaching me with with flirtiness? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, he can't. 
I can't say it. <laughs> it's not even funny. Oh, wow. I was going to say, you can't even... <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm laughing at my own joke. It's, it's not even funny. I was like, you can't even fuck me without getting closer. Oh, it feels bad. <laughs> it's not funny. I don't know why I can say it. And with that, Joseph's gone. He <laughs> seemed nice. And Amanda walks back into the living room, <laughs> crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. <laughs> I'm sorry I told you it wasn't funny. <laughs> that was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. <laughs> so you ate all of them anyway? I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. Uh, I think we uh, we uh, there. I think we get a ton of neighbor, uh, good neighbor points if we if we bring this back. We're gonna be the best neighbors in the whole cul-de-sac. <laughs> oh, we're gonna. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. So this is why we shouldn't play dating sims. Oh. We're going to kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness. Amanda and I step outside. Shoot. I'm actually not sure which house it is. Oh, I'm guessing we go to the wrong one and meet another person. Oh, and also fucking. <laughs> hey, Spyro, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Change your name in two days? Nice. You're like, yeah, like it? Oh, no, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's just. It, we really shouldn't. Uh, I'd has, uh, I would ask are there any other dating sims that we could play? But I don't think we should open that. 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 Cut that. That door. Window. I don't know. Fucking. Whatever it is. Uh, that can of worms, that's the one. Fucking door, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'd have to guess it's the big one with uh, all of the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. Remember, we need to uh, make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. I walk up to the kids and wave. Right, well these two aren't the creepiest fucking children in the world. I don't know what his problem is. Just... Terrifying. Honey Pop, this joke will never end. Pretty sure Honey Pop you can't play on Twitch. As weird as that sounds, don't think you're allowed. Mind when you, uh, whenever you actually start and finish making it, that I will happily do. Uh, hey guys, you're done around? They'll just stare at us blankly. Maybe he has four children because he's actually like 400 years old. And he just saps the life force from his children, which is why they look like they're, they're, they're empty inside. We just wanted to uh, return this nice plate, and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are these definitely are Joseph's kids. <laughs> they all look exactly like him. Ah. They were really good. I mean, I heard they were really good. I didn't get to eat any. Do their names all start with a C? I chuckle nervously. Uh, 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 I think it's sad. Uh, well, okay. Uh, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gently, and uh, real gentle, and then back away slowly. Right, Dad? Right, that's what we're gonna do. Kids bore, uh, the kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on back even as we approach our house. Okay. Uh, I make one have star platinum. What do you mean?
Oh, if they're all JoJo's. Oh, I see. I mean, yeah. Uh, I need something to get. Uh, I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. You've been awake for what? Three hours? And that's three hours too many. God, relatable. As we're walking home, we would. What? We were just outside our house. I'm so. What? We unpacked. Joseph came over. We returned his plate. So we were next door. Then we walked home. And then we was like, what do you want to do? Let's go rest our eyes. And then we walked home, which is walking up to the front door. <laughs> Push the rock in, you get star platinum. Oh, I see. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Get us on, bro! Uh, I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it! Bro! Bro! Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig forever! <laughs> been too long dude yeah wow you look great <laughs> yeah i cleaned up my act cleaned up his act are you kidding he's ripped amanda this is my friend craig you went we went to college together we were roommates for a while amanda dude you probably don't remember me but you're, uh, but you're so big now hello and hello cute baby Oh, thank you. Last time I uh, I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. I say River. <gasps> Let's go put her in a desert. <laughs> he picks up her tiny waist and waves her waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Mm -hmm. You get your mic. And you can... <laughs> nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. It was like one minute we're rolling it, uh, up up to exams with bad hangovers. The next, we're both fathers. Uh, where you been, man? I was working out in California and just re relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. A man and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashly doing? I don't know. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. Uh, she actually still goes by Smashly. And uh, we got divorced last year. Ooh. 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 Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's old news. Uh, we take turns uh, taking care of River and the twins. It's it's all... Copacetic? Copacetic? I don't know. Twins?! You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro? Right? Keg Stand Craig is a father of three. Keg Stand Craig. Craig. Fucking Craig. It's not a different name. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. Uh, he got it because he, he did a lot of keg stands. Mm -hmm. So the thing where you, uh, it's the thing, uh, it's that thing where you do a handsome, oh, it's not handsome, it's handstand. Oh, they're all too good looking. <laughs> uh, it, it's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Ah, oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really got to keep my heart rate, keep up my heart rate. Or River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. That is that is a lie. I don't jog. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, Cracker. You're welcome. Uh, on January 1st, when I promise myself I'm going to uh, dog journey for the rest of the year, when I give up after 30 minutes, I just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, it'll be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards. Catch up. Uh, we could do a bro brunch like the good old days. <gasps> I'm down for bro brunch. Alright, sure. Sounds great. 
Right. Uh, let's let's get that going soon. Uh, I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Bye. Uh, Craig gives us gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Hmm. Why is that? The Craig got it. <laughs> Uh, I knew is not fit to be responsible is not to be responsible for any living thing including and especially himself one time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner uh, you're jogging to get to the milkshake store nice you're not betting you oh boy have I got news for you <laughs> Guess who we're doing first? Uh, Amanda. <laughs> and only because you said that one thing. Uh, Amanda. Uh, he opened up a, a new jar of marinara sauce and then drank it like it was a, a, a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And when I asked him what the hell he was doing, he and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. Doing Matt first. Ah, I mean, ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, technically he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like totally a different person. Anyway, well, we better get home. Uh, I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. You would say that. Eh, it's fair. Uh, Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda uh, has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're gonna put, uh, gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. Oh, because she's moving out, right? I know, I know. It's just you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day. And I'll, uh, take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Okay. Of course. Are you going to be okay with your with your lonesome? Of oh, oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. It's... But what it will cost uh, for me to give up my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelope envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college... Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shovels through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest on the floor. Uh, this is from Gowan College of Art and Design. Open it. I'm scared. It's an envelope. Aww. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. No big deal. Hmm. Uh, she takes a deep breath and rips the uh, rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Hmm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah blah blah. Um, we. Uh. A face drops. Regret to inform you that uh, you. Uh, we have to inform you that you are unable to. Uh, we are unable to offer you an admission to the McGowan College of Art and, and Design. Oof! Big oof! Amanda throws the letter onto the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Aww. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have put that uh, experimental stuff in my portfolio. Uh, their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you uh, put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Take care of your three kids. <laughs> Rip. Uh, are you actually, are you actually fine or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push the, push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Aww. So... 
Get me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, uh, I'll have you know that I uh, that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have a new you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of the plans. Uh... Uh... I'm going clubbing. Going clubbing. Yeah, sounds good. Going clubbing. I'm going to put on a nice outfit and go tear up the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves, the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. Mm. All right, but I'm not going to put, I'm not going to pick, come pick you up if you pull any uh, anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Go out and watch the game? Nice. <laughs> Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. Aww. The game on TV and at somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to go do drugs and commit some light arsony with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Madder shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up uh, to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at, at the least. At the at, yeah, at, at, yeah. That's at, at the least. Yeah, I suppose it does work. Uh, I'm a street rat, pops. Just street rat, scoundrel. Take that. Uh, you're kidding. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Yes, dad. Just making sure. Uh, I'll give her a a, a pat. I get blah, 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 blah. I give her a pat on the head. Yay, head pats. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Aww. No. Making fun of sport is play is played out. Huh. All right then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide uh, to clear out right before the right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Oh. Hey, don't forget uh, you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All oh, right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. I completely forgot. It's never too early to invest in personal ARA. No idea what that is. Uh, wow. I get. Uh, I guess I really didn't uh think this plan through. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where uh, the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's -a go this way. Cool. Okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance. Could it be... Ooh. A big burned out neon sign hangs above... A, a hangs above tiny dive bar. What? A big burned out neon sign hangs above tiny dive bar. Shouldn't that be above a tiny dive bar? There you go. Yeah, I, I I was thinking Mass Effect three. Uh, but to each their own. Uh, Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. Uh, the bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of uh, pool, uh pool balls sounds uh in the back as patrons laugh and joke. Uh, a string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. Uh, I. Pull up a seat to the bar. Wallaby. One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me a, an ice cold beer. Take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I okay turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. Uh, Spyro, uh, no. I don't actually know if that's an option in this. It might be, but I actually don't know. Uh, uh, the brightly colored mascot, uh, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. Oh, does cartwheels. Uh, I suddenly cheer on my favorite team. 
hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. God, this sounds so fucking generic. It's unbelievable. Several people in this bar uh, are wearing the distinct colors of the team uh, I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Oh. Sure, that's post game. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, a middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass uh, sidles, uh, yeah, sidles up to the bar uh, and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, say <laughs> I can't do it. Hey, sailor. I can't, I can't do my Carly voice anymore. Oh, hello. Good to see you, friend. <laughs> I can't do it. It, it, it it's, it's too much. Good, I, I really can't. It just doesn't work. Uh, good to see some fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Oh no, I actually just moved into this part of town today. I'm Gaston, by the way. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Oh, I love that team and also love that game. I assume this is meant to take the piss out of sports, but just, okay. I love someone who knows their way around balls. Okay. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Hey, a little drunk. I'm Gaston. Haha. <laughs> uh, buy a gal a drink. Do we buy Mary a drink? We must consult the da the dating sim gods. I feel like this is, this goes down a dark path that we shouldn't that we shouldn't stray to. No. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm I'm she's a thought. <gasps> she breathes. <laughs> We don't buy our drink. Ah, maybe some other time. Ugh. Suit yourself, sailor. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watched the game over another beer. The game has gotten close to terms of, input of points. Uh, a little too close than what, I, than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team. <gasps> it's it's Edgelord. What are you buying? Uh, what the heck? It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. Fun fact, I've actually never fully played Resident Evil 4. I've started playing it once and I got... Fuck, how far did I get? I don't think I even got to Ashley. So, not very far. But yeah. Fun fact. Um, what was I doing? Yeah, uh, it's the brooding man from the coffee shop. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game. I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. My opinion, my team is far superior. Okay, we're, we're doing this, are we? Uh, I have to disagree with that. Uh, based upon our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there. We both uh, go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails! Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass to the man drinking whiskey. Raises his in response, and an unspoken truce is formed between us, based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the uh, to the bartender, who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to you. The name's Robert. You mean Smashly? Oh, I like it. Uh, yeah, sorry, my bad. Uh, thanks. I'm Gaston. I... You have to say it every time like that. There's no other way you can say it. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah. Robert chuckles. Uh. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. 
As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim out or Kim that runs this place? No, that'll be Neil. Neil waves from the bar. Ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good, <laughs> good guy, Neil. Uh, not enough Neils in this world. Okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. Oh, will you now? <laughs> Fuck's sake. So, I'm so mature. You like shots? Ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, dating gods. I like shots. I love shots. Ooh, shots fired. I don't like them. Fucking dad puns. I love shots. Mmm, thank God. Uh, Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. Here's to your health. He takes the shot. The, uh, the whiskey burns... Oh, sorry. We take the shots. Uh, the whiskey burns going down. And we try my hardest... And I, blah, but I try my hardest to look tough. Wait. I think this uh, this is what making friends is. <gasps> Okay, Gaston, this guy's out uh, out of my friend league, but I, I think I if, if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Oh, 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 uh, okay, crucial. Do we compliment his cool leather jacket? I, th I feel like that's a bit, that's about too over the top. Compliment his rugged good looks? Mm, maybe. Or compliment his hand tattoo? I think the tattoo might be the best one. So you don't want to be too forward. I think the I think the jacket is too basic. I think the ruggy good looks is too forward. But I think the hand tattoo is a nice middle ground. Second one. Hmm. Are you sure? I mean. I should. I, I haven't had a reason to doubt the dating gods so far. Shit to see how things go. That's fair. Well, compliment is rugged good looks then. Your face is good. Thanks. Wait, I think this is what flirting is. Man, this guy is mysterious and cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? <laughs> I don't know why he suddenly became the gun dealer from Resident Evil 4. Uh, my door kicked me out of the house, uh, running from my problems, trying to make friends. I feel like the door kicking me out of the house is probably the best one to go with. Oh, Craigbert, as soon as you get one thing wrong, I'm never listening to you again. Like, that, that's how this works. So, be careful. Second one again, running from my problems. Well, because it's Dream Daddy, so I'm guessing he's a dad as well. That's why I thought the daughter one might work a bit better. But if you think running from my problems, I mean, um, I suppose he is rugged tough guy, isn't he? Oh, it's obviously not trying to make, uh, okay. Running from my problems, the usual. I like your style. Oh, Jesus Christ, Kramer, why are you so good at this? He gets up. I... Be right back. Gotta powder my nose. <laughs> Fuck, what did I give? What, what voice did I give Neil? <laughs> Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ha, huh, I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has, uh, has a gruff charm to him. If I like it. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. He's brooding. That is true. Or it comes back from the bathroom and grabs uh, and grabs his leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You head in my way. <gasps> Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking the same direction. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Oh my god! Everyone lives in the same cul-de-sac. How convenient. Does everybody live there? <laughs> 
Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? Uh, we get to Robert's house, uh, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, Gaston. <gasps> so are we doing this or what? What? Hey. You know, do you want to come inside or not? <gasps> oh my god, 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 oh my god. What? <laughs> a wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what do we do? What do we do? Ah! <laughs> It's clear, okay, it's clear, it's, it's, it's clearly, it's clearly not what we think. This is too early. I don't think this is, this is what you're all hoping for. I, th I think it's meant to think, it's meant to make you think that's what it is. But I feel like if we go inside, it's going to be like watching the game or something. Smile and nod. Okay. Let's do it. I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The oh oh nope okay never mind. The moment <laughs> the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom. But it's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. He kisses me again, and I can hear him uh, shocking off. <laughs> Why do they have to use shocking as a, as a word? Uh, off his jacket. I clumsily take it off mine too. His hands roam down my chest, and suddenly he's tugging at my belt. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? You thought this was around the end? <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I was uh, just googling whether or not I can actually stream this or not. I mean, it has a it has a category on 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 Twitch, so I'm guessing I could. But I just thought I'd confirm. Uh, no, don't do it. Just do it. What, Craig? But what? No. Uh, okay. What am I doing? You're giving me conflicted choices here. I only have two. I mean, it's my choice. Ah. What route do we want to go down? No. Oh right, yeah, because no is don't st is is not to stop. Okay. I mean, we want we want to bang everyone, right? So no. No. Good. <laughs> You're all gonna hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Robert continues to unbuckle my belt and guides me to the bed. <laughs> okay, this is weird. <laughs> Let's have some fun. Wow, this place is a mess. <laughs> Uh, sunlight streams in between the, uh, the slats of the blinds. My head is pounding. Oh, I bet it wasn't the only thing. Uh, <laughs> I really overdid it last night. Wait a second. This isn't, this isn't my old house or my new house. Oh, right. <laughs> I look around for Robert, but find myself alone. Hello? There's a clatter from the bathroom and the door opens. Robert is fully dressed and grabs his keys. That was fun. Yeah. Us. You should go. That's certainly what not what I was expecting. Well, uh, talk to you later. Robert cracks a smile. Sure. 
Your clothes are <laughs> your clothes are over there. I hastily get dressed and show myself out. The sun is unbearingly bright. I need to lie down. I start to make my way back home when I suddenly remember. Amanda! Pat. <laughs> uh, you can't see it. I just got an achievement called Bad Dad. Um. Uh, how do I see my... Uh, bad Dad. Uh, <laughs> it's an achievement for sleeping with Robert on the first night. <laughs> uh, I rush back home and throw the door open. Something smells delicious. Amanda. Amanda runs out of the kitchen and looks slightly disappointed. Oh man, I was kind of hoping you would gotten kidnapped and I was gonna have to come rescue you. No, I uh, made a friend at the bar last night and ended up sleeping uh, over at his place. Where are the Emmas? They left a little while ago. Oh shit, I'm a dad. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a thing. Uh, oh, you guys have fun? Uh, yeah, uh, watched some movies, ate snacks, stole a car, you know, usual sleepover stuff. You teens and your larceny. So, this breakfast that's cooking, what's that all about? Hmm. Can't believe you're speedrunning it didn't tell us. What? I, I'm just going, at, I'm just going at a normal pace, to be honest. I mean, we could speedrun it, we just skip through everything and just sleep with everyone. Well, that sounds, that sounds boring. It's the journey that's that's the most important bit. <laughs> well, there's hash browns and eggs and bacon. Can I? Yes, you can have some breakfast. Bless you, sweet child. My head's throbbing. <laughs> no, my head throbs even. But it's not the only thing. <laughs> oh, fucking disgusting. Ah, oh, I gotta do something about this hangover. Amanda, your loving father might have overdone it uh, overdone it last night. Ooh, somebody's hangover. Father of the year. You didn't happen to have an as any aspirin or I just got the thing. Uh hang on. Oh, I I've got just the thing even, I can't read. Amanda runs to the fridge and pulls out a jar of pickles. Amanda, what? Right. Drink this. The pickle juice? Yep, it's what I used once. Ah, uh, uh, I would assume oh, uh, someone... What? Yep, it's what I used once. Ah, would assume someone would use... Oh, sorry, right. Uh, I would also assume that it works pretty well. Mm. Although I've never tried it before. I won't try it, obviously. Really? Her second and middle name's Anne? You know men desire. <laughs> ah, it's fair enough. Uh, uh, okay, okay. We have, to, we have to be a good dad. Who raised you, Amanda Ann? Give her a stern yet reassi uh, reassigned side eye. Yeah, I'm thinking the side eye. I'm giving you guys a side eye right now. Just because of how I'm sitting. Hmm. I eye her suspiciously. I eye the jar of pickles even more sus even more suspiciously. Uh, this better work. I down a uh, uh, I down a sip of tart juice. Oh, of the tart juice. Okay. No, no, more than that. Way more than that. I mean, I assume. Watch it, you. I drink more pickle juice and help myself to the delicious breakfast that Amanda has graciously allowed me to partake in. After inhaling some hash browns and dunking several pieces of bacon into runny egg yolk, uh, I'm starting to feel a little better. Amanda grabs her backpack and keys. Well, I gotta get to class. Don't forget to uh, don't forget the meeting with Mr. Vega, okay? Uh, he said uh, it was important. Love ya. I'll be there. Knock him dead, kiddo. Always do. Uh, we do our secret handshake and she's off. Uh, I get a little work done at home before I glance my watch to see that it's almost time for the meeting. I hop in the shower, change clothes, and head on my way. Uh, still a little hungover. Uh, try to drive. Oh my god, you don't even get time to read these. I shouldn't have put it on my SSD. Then we can actually read the tips. I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. Uh, I'm barely awake and feel pretty haggard. Uh, but hopefully nobody will notice. 
I check my watch and I'm relieved to see that I'm only two minutes late. Wait, is it, uh, was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom is? Well, fucking edgy. Uh, oh, wait, is he going to be Robert's kid? Because he's edgy like his dad. Uh, the youth turns around, uh, looks me up and down heavily, uh, and with heavy, heavily lined eyes. Sigh. Come on, kid, I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega? I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Hey, wise guy, are you going to help me or not? Sigh. Fine. Up those stairs and, take, uh, and to the left. Can't miss him. Those stairs walk around, unable to find Mr. Vega's class anywhere. After a couple minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose, day goose chase. Uh, I go back to where that low low rent Gerald Way is standing. There we go, the reference, but okay. Uh, fully ready to uh, give him peace of my mind when suddenly a head pops out, uh, out, of, uh, out of the classroom next to his locker. Oh. Is it, it? That just that just looks like um. Fuck, what was his name? Matt with like different hair. <laughs> okay. Fuck. No. Mm! I right clicked by accident. Uh, sigh. Fine, Mr. Vega. Oh. Wow. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him uh, uh, as he walks away. We're not cool. Oh. Uh, you must be gassed on. Uh, this period's almost over. Uh, would you mind waiting in the back? Hmm. Uh, Mr. Vega lends, uh, leads me in, and I take a seat in one of uh, one of the comically small students' desks in the back. Uh, I might, uh, I might get stuck in oh. this. All right, uh, where were we? Uh, now, now, who can tell me about the re unreliability of an? Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, I swear to God, if he's an English teacher, uh, which I'm guessing he is. Uh, now, who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator in J.D. Stalin... Stalling's? Catcher in the Rye? He is? Fuck off. Mm. Of course he is. I don't like him. He's... He's only just above Brian, because Brian's at the bottom. No one likes Brian. Yes, Colin? Colin stands up and does the thing where he bows uh, into the crook of his elbow and makes a fart mm. noise. Whole class erupts in laughter. Mm. All right, all right, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Sit down. Oh. Now, please sit down. Now, uh, Holden Carlfield? I don't know any of these people. Is an unreliable narrator uh, in the sense that the bell uh, for the end of the period rings, all the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. Oh. Remember to do your reading and answer the response questions on page 194 on the textbooks. Nobody's listening. Oh. Or not, I guess. Miss Vega turns to me and sighs. Oh. Uh, middle schoolers, right? Do you teach high schoolers? <sighs> Both, you know, budget cuts. Right. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. Vega. Hmm. Uh, you missed much? Uh, yeah, we, we banged Edgelord that we saw at the coffee shop. Not even lying. Please, call me Hugo. <sighs> uh, I don't normally do these impromptu teacher parent-teacher meetings. But I am sure you know Amanda's a very bright student and I'm concerned about her recent behaviour. What's going on? Hmm. Amanda has never been the most engaged student, uh, but I know she cares. Recently though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has um, been doing rather poorly on tests. I'd normally chalk, her, uh, chalk this up to uh, senior ristis, but I can no idea. Probably not even how it's pronounced. Speed around it. I what? How could we? We can't. We're not speed running. We're just. We're just playing the game. Uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, this is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. Uh, it hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. I just wanted to ask: Is everything okay at home? We just moved. Yeah, we just moved. 
Well, we just moved recently. Uh, but it was only to the other side of town. Amanda was more excited about it than I was. Mm -hmm. That one? Well, rip. Uh, see if you can talk to her about it. Uh, I know she values uh, you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. Uh, if she keeps heading down this road. I don't know. I don't know how important our school is. Art school is to her. And I would hate to see her miss out on, a schol on scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Mm. Anytime. I feel like that was with finger guns. Uh, on my way out, out I stop. Uh, uh, on my way out, I stop. Uh, thinking for a moment, I turn to Hugo. Hey, Hugo. Mm -hmm. yep. I think there's a dog at my door. Yeah, I can, I can, I can hear faint woofing. So bear with me. I'm just gonna let. I believe it's Hercules. Wait, give me a sec. Hang on, Mac. I ruined the run by picking the first option. Did I really? Uh, yes. Uh, they ever catch that rye? Ha ha ha. Yes. Hey! <laughs> uh, I leave the classroom and make my way out, uh, out of the school. I'm still uh, a little bit shocked that Amanda uh, was able to hide this so well from me. Uh, she's always been such a force of, po uh, of for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her mother. Amanda must be done with classes for now, but uh, for the day by now, I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home. Uh, and maybe I can talk to her about it, about what's going on. Oh yeah, there is a rock on the dashboard. Ha! Huh. Uh, I pull up to the carpool, and Amanda hops into the passenger seat. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Baker and actually uh, just got uh, gossip gossiped about our celebrity crushes. She talked about Mario Vitali the, the whole time. It was a very productive meeting. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab something? Can we grab some dinner? Fuck's sake. I, I think Hercules wanted to come in and drink something and then leave. And then we'll go back out. Come on then, you. Dogs. Sure thing. Oh, uh, we can make something at home. We'll go to the food, uh, the mall food court. Hmm. You have to help you have sex with you, you. Well, weird. If you've got, that's what I was thinking. Uh, does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Geez, can't a dad take his daughter to the mall? 
Will you buy me things? I'll buy you a thing. Singular. Sounds like a deal to me. What's up, Phoebe? Maybe the option to go out. Is it? Oh, dogs. Uh, we drive in silence for a few, uh, for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I, sh uh, I should say something. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have things, that they keep things hidden from their parents. And that's why, because sometimes that's what kids do. That's okay. But also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perse perspective. Uh, because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is it's good to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweets? Uh, you have a Twitter? Mm. What? Never mind. No, sweetie. Mr. Vegas said that you haven't been uh, participating in class and that you've, been, uh, you've not been turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Uh, senior assists and all that. Uh, I thought you liked Mr. Vegas' class. It's fine. He's fine. We pull up to a stoplight and I eye Amanda. She's still texting. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh-huh. I tell her whatever it is, she doesn't uh, want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Uh, I hear Emma Oz uh, going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. You bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Uh, you found an amazing addition to the mod about a Fortnite mod? No. <laughs> Uh, Eminem, just out of curiosity, have you actually tested this to make sure it works? Like this mod pack thing, you're not just adding mods together and then just hoping it works. <laughs> this is you little shit, just tell us already. Uh, Amanda keeps texting, she sti- uh, she- Yeah, she stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Huh? It's uh... I don't think you'd get it. Okay. Okay, boomer. <laughs> Yeah, you are soon, okay. Who are you texting? Hmm. Noah? Who the fuck's Noah? My friend? Does he go to your school? Hmm. Yeah. Do you like <laughs> Noah? Oh. What? No! Dad! Ah. Can't believe you would... Ugh. Dad. I mean, jeez! Why would you... Ugh. Gross. Sorry, sorry, just asking. Daddy's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's a friend. Mm. Oh, she said friend too many times. Okay, okay. Jeez. This is going well. <laughs> well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. Uh, she uh, leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess that conversation is over. To the mall, then!